This is my 1969 Singer Gazelle, Hillman Hunter. How dare you? Um, I've now owned it for four years or so, and it's had two previous owners uh, with just 45,000 miles on the clock. And um, as you can see, it's pretty original. Uh, the only problems it's really had have been uh, an electrical issue, uh, thanks to dear old Joe Lucas, because it is running a dynamo still. Gotta keep it retro. Here we have the uh, mighty power unit of this Roots Arrow, which is a one and a half litre overhead valve lump of iron. Uh, not so much the beating heart, more perhaps the uh, throbbing gristle of this singer. And uh, I have to say, initially, the plan was to put a transplant in, possibly hole bay it or something like that. But the more I drive it like this, the more, rather sadly, I rather like it. It's such a sweet little engine and gearbox. It's nearly ready for its MOT. Um, there are possibly a couple of little issues that might be found. Um, there's only a little hole in the sill, uh, which is only probably about that big. And uh, also it'll probably need four new tires because those are cross flies and um, they're probably roughly about 35 years old so um, yeah radials I think are definitely the way to go and the only other thing really to deal with is to replace the quarter light glass off the passenger side which was broken into uh, at the previous owner's place um, some kids got into the storage and there are two cars there. Uh, luckily for me, they picked on the car next to it. Now I'll be the first to admit that on the outside it is a little bit of a sh but in here, in this vinyl boudoir with all this beautiful veneer, it really is fantastic. This car has never been to pieces, which is one of the reasons why I bought it. Well, it was a bit of a fluke, but I'm glad it's just so perfect. Spotter's guide to the interior of a gazelle. Well, this mm, console is all vinyl as opposed to the wood of the Vogue. Vinyl door cappings, no wood, like the uh, Vogue as well. And of course, uh, these are non opening quarter lights. Well, apart from this one, obviously, which is uh, a work in progress, shall we say. So, really, all that's lying between. This baby and this MOT, four of those. I've got to fit this without breaking it. And I've got a pair of sills to go on it as well. But, two new sills. It's got to be worth the pump, hasn't it, really, with this lovingly made, beautifully handcrafted piece of tin, which will just fit over there. And who's to know? Well, we'll soon find out. And I've dropped a glass.